So like my first years, you were like PRing left and forth and right and left. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna say that. LOL. You thought this was a game, bitches? There is work to be done. It was kind of good to hear your steps. I was like, no, you can't catch me. My name is Thierry Helgadóttir. I am a CrossFit athlete from Iceland. I've been six times to the CrossFit Games as an individual, and I'm going to try to go for the seventh time this season. I have been, like always on Sundays, there are some bike intervals. Yeah, and I think the last Sunday was like two minutes on. Like it's always increasing every week. I wouldn't say there's a secret recipe in staying in the game for so long, but I'd say it's in the consistency of training and taking care of your body with good nutrition, sleep and mobility. So obviously the field is getting stronger and stronger every year. And the longer I'm in the sport, the more difficult it is to improve. So what proof is definitely one of the tools I use to help me with that. I already connected my heart rate monitor to the Wattproof app and then I connected my skier to the Wattproof app and then I'm gonna record the workout so I can see my pace always each round on the skier and I can see my time for every round and I can see my heart rate. <laughs> Another function of uh, what proof is the bionic where they use AI to measure your mobility. So you do a mobility test, then you can see where your weakness is and then you can work on your mobility from there. I just finished my second session and I'm gonna end the session with uh, uh, some mobility outside so I can pick uh, how long the session is gonna be. I'm gonna select it for 15 minutes and then I'm just gonna start. Okay, so we arrived at the Sugerberg in Sug, and I have some hill sprints. So there's definitely a hill here, already walking up a hill. And yeah, so the program says 30 second hill sprints. Rest is needed between. It's gonna be nice. Uh, I think eight times. When you stop. So 
So it was in a training session um, five days before the quarterfinals that I had a, a heavy back squat. I guess just something happened, like I, I didn't expect it to be so heavy. Um, but for some reason I fought for it and lost my form a little bit. After the lift I could just feel my sacrum being like super stiff. It wasn't really hurting but just super super stiff. And then uh, five days later the quarterfinals started and I started with a heavy clean. And I did uh, 101 kilos and it was just easy. I went up to 106 which is like two kilos from my PR. And I didn't hit the bounce, um, but I like really wanted to stand up with that weight. I didn't want to uh, drop it, uh, so I fought for it and immediately felt the pain again. Like it had disappeared and just came again then. And I had three days of quarterfinals in front of me. And actually, always in the workouts, once the workout started, I didn't feel anything. But between workouts, I... I couldn't bend over. Like if I bent over and my back was a little bit not straight, then I could feel it like just like super, super stiff. Like it hurt to put my socks on and my shoes. And make a long story short, it just ha hasn't gone away completely. And it's already a pretty long time. What I want to do is every time that I go to training, think about how, what can I do now and not stress about how I want to be feeling or what everyone else is doing and stuff like that. So it doesn't help at all. But I'm really positive that if I do everything right now, it's gonna be okay when it's game time.